Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Valorant News Roundup brought to you by Skillcap. In this series, we compile all the top news from the past week into one video so that you can stay up to date with all things Valorant. My name's Modix, and today we will be going over a ton of interesting content, including new leaked weapon skins, game modes, and even a huge controversy in the Valorant esports scene. But before we get into that, we're excited to announce our brand new hyper improvement platform specifically designed to help you improve fast. At skillcap.com, you'll finally learn how to level up your aim, different techniques to win gunfights, and so much more. We have professional courses on every single agent, map, and mechanic in Valorant. This is backed by the top pros, players, and coaches to make sure you're getting the most up-to-date and accurate info possible. In fact, we're so confident that you'll improve using our system that we offer a rank improvement guarantee. Check it out yourself in the link below. Simply put in what rank you're currently stuck at and find out what rank you're guaranteed by using our system. So what are you waiting for? Unlock your true potential and get the rank you've always wanted at skillcap.com. Link in the description below. So starting us off today, we will be going over all the data mine content coming from patch 1.08. This patch was filled with a ton of new files and four of those were all cosmetics. Our first cosmetic that was introduced was the skin collection Ego. During this past week, Valorant released many tweets regarding the skin collection and you're now finally able to purchase the skin in the store. But along with the Ego collection, there was another skin that got leaked. This collection is called Smite. In the bundle, you will receive a weapon skin for the Knife, Classic Pistol, Odin, Phantom, and the Judge. Let's take a quick look at this video from Floxy of in-game footage of the skin. Now we all hate paying a lot for skins and luckily this skin collection won't break the bank because it is a select edition skin which means that each smite skin should only cost you 875 VP. So with all this in mind, what do you think of this skin collection? Are you going to go ahead and purchase it as soon as it comes into the store? Go ahead and let us know in the comments of this video. Now like I said earlier, there were 4 cosmetic leaks, so we still have 2 more to go. And for this next one, we already kind of touched on it in last week's news roundup. In that video, we talked about how Riot Games was partnering with Prime Gaming to bring players free in-game prizes such as gun buddies, sprays, and maybe even weapon skins. The first in-game reward was officially added and it's the Netter Treader Gun Buddy. So if you want to get this Gun Buddy, then all you have to do is link your Prime Gaming account to your Valorant account. Once this is done, the next time that you load into Valorant, you should have the Netter Treader. Every month, Prime Gaming users will get new rewards, so be sure to keep an eye out in-game because this is where Valorant will notify us whenever we have new items to claim. And I know that not everyone has Prime Gaming, so that's where our last cosmetic comes into play. Here's the Africa TV banner. Sadly, this is mainly for the Korean Valorant players, but if you have a VPN, you should still be able to claim this free reward. All you have to do is link your Africa TV and Riot Games account, and then watch one hour of the Asia Valorant showdown, which is being held during the weekend of the 19th. If you're watching this video the day it releases, you have the possibility of still getting this banner, but if you're not, then you're going to be a bit too late to receive this item. Well, that's it for the cosmetics, so now let's move on to new files getting added to the Alt 6 game mode. So a bunch of new files were added for the game mode, and it looks like in this new mode, we will have a lot of orbs that will grant players guts. We don't really know how this game mode will play out, but I'm sure it will give players a new fun way to play Valorant. And speaking of ways to play Valorant, our next leak has to do with mobile support. This is an ongoing topic that pops up every other patch, and in this patch, we got this string of code. It reads, Action to perform when double tapping on right hand side of screen. I know it's not much, but it shows that Riot is still working on Valorant Mobile UI hinting towards a possible Valorant Mobile release. And one big thing to keep in mind is that if the game releases to mobile, then it will most likely release to consoles as well. This is all very exciting news, so if you want to stay up to date with all of it, then be sure to subscribe with notifications on so that you never miss an upload. Now that's all the data mined information for patch 1.08. But during this update, there was a change to the map Ascent. If you didn't know, Ascent is the map that usually holds the easter eggs for upcoming agents. 
When Killjoy was announced, her silhouette was found in one of the shops. With Act 3 weeks away, we finally received what could be a small hint towards what the new agent could bring to Valorant. Here's what was added. In a past weekly news roundup, we talked about this string of code that was found in the test audio for designer's game file folder. The string reads, play dogbot dogball land. So now that we're getting a dog bowl on the map ascent, this could mean that the devs are either just messing with us or the next agent could have a pet dog that helps them in the action of Valorant. Hopefully more info comes out on this soon and I'll make sure that you all know every single hint that is given to us. Well, that's all for the leaks that we have for patch 1.08, but now we need to talk about a controversial topic regarding Valorant esports. Recently, Elevate KP took to Twitter to talk about missing tournament payments. Here's what they had to say. On June 14th, my Valorant team and I, Oxygen Supremacy, competed in the Trovo Challenge North America, $10,000 event hosted by GLL, Global Loot. After qualifying for the event, we came back for the online finals on the weekend of July 3rd to July 5th. The finals consisted of 8 teams from North America, all of which had placed in the money just by making it to this point in the tournament. We played out the finals and ended up placing second, winning a total of $1,800 in prize money. We are no strangers in the esports world. We know prize payouts can take long, however GLL staff told us we would be paid out within 60 days or post 60 same as all on-air talent and production that were hired for the event. At the time I am typing this, it is currently 96 days post-qualifier and 76 days post-main event. Even then, this normally wouldn't be a problem as long as we were being communicated to, right? The problem is, us players are either being ghosted or given the same copy and paste response week after week with no resolve or changes. This briefly changed on August 27th when each team captain received this email reading, Hey, and congratulations on your performance in Trovo Challenge Valorant, hosted on the GLL platform. Please find below an update regarding the prize money payment, apologies for the delayed response. In collaboration with Trovo, discussions are currently taking place to decide which party will make the payout. This is an ongoing conversation that has unfortunately been delayed although we want to reassure you that it is currently being solved. We will come with an update regarding the prize money payment at latest next week. The line that makes me sketched out about the whole situation is about who will make the payment. I have never heard of a tournament organizer not deciding who will pay out the sponsor or the organizer before the event even goes live. It kind of blows my mind actually. Anyways, there was a sliver of hope after that email, but alas, we were yet again left with no response from GLL admin, staff, or Trovo staff either. We tried day after day in both discords to get a response. Now, why am I making this post? For sure, I want to be paid for the accomplishments my team and I make. It is just incredibly infuriating seeing both Trovo and GLL host numerous money payouts events even after our complaints and prior posts about them. While it might not be $10,000, both companies are hosting $100 tournaments weekly for numerous different game titles. You would think by now we would have a response or the money. I hope this post can gain some traction and put the ball in their court to try and help myself, my teammates, and the other seven teams get paid. And remember, if you want to improve, win more gunfights, and get the rank you've always wanted, then check out skillcap.com, link in the description below. So yeah, that's a crazy situation, and it'll be very interesting to see how Riot Games handles this situation. What do you think should happen? I personally don't see why they should be running more tournaments if they haven't paid off the past ones, but hopefully this situation is solved rather quickly so that Riot doesn't have to lose focus on creating content for the game. Well, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this week's Valorant News Roundup. Thanks so much for watching all the way through this video. This is Modix signing off, and I will see you all in the next one.